everyone, it's Karis. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. I was really kindly sent this by the publishers in exchange for an honest review and I absolutely loved it. So if you want to hear a bit more about why, then carry on watching this video. So I'm going to begin how I always do by giving you a little bit of a plot summary. So this book follows a girl called Steffi who is starting her first year at college, so she's 17 and when she was younger, Steffi was a selective mute and now she has been diagnosed with severe social anxiety which means that she finds it very difficult to talk to people especially in really busy environments like school. Then one day a boy called Reese moves to her school and Reese is deaf and Steffi is assigned to introduce him to the school and show him round because she knows a bit of British Sign Language. The two characters because they have this way of communicating with each other begin talking and getting to know each other and then soon one thing leads to another leads to another and I'm pretty sure you can all imagine the arc that this story takes but I'm not going to go into too many details because I definitely think it's worth reading and seeing how everything is done for yourself because it was just so good. So I gave this book, if you haven't guessed already, a five star rating. If I'm honest I was a little bit skeptical going into it because I absolutely loved Beautiful Broken Things which is Sarah Bernard's debut novel so much. So because this book didn't focus so much on friendship and was focused more on romance and is marketed as that I was really worried that I wasn't going to enjoy it half as much but I had no need to be worried because I just fell in love with this story. I always ship so many things on TV and I'm like obsessed with TV couples but in books I'm just often more bothered about the characters individual stories however I absolutely loved the couple and the romance in this story. I thought both of the characters were really well developed and I really connected with Steffi quite a lot and I really loved Reese as well. He was just such a nice guy and I loved reading about him and finding out more of his backstory and his experiences as someone who was deaf in a school full of people who could hear. I really loved the presentation of the unique ways that the characters could communicate with each other. There was some little bits where like sign language for certain words was explained to you like how how to do it and I thought that was really cool. I only know the alphabet in sign language, it's something I learnt when I was a girl guide so it was really interesting to me to see how like different words are said. Also I really really loved the mixed media inclusions in this book, I love a good text message or instant message in a book. As well as the romance aspect of this book I really loved reading about Steffi's personal journey as well. It was so moving hearing her backstory and seeing how far she'd come and seeing how she changed throughout the course of the book as well. I really appreciated the depiction of social anxiety and selective mutism and I really really feel like I learnt a lot, especially about what selective mutism is because I don't feel like I really knew that much going into it but there's a big section where it's explained really well in Steffi's voice and isn't just like an information dump. As I don't know these things before I can't say for definite but for me personally I feel like it was really really well research. Basically the character felt very believable and I don't think that would have been achieved if it hadn't been really well researched. And as well as being really informative about selective mutism, again I feel like this was a really raw honest portrayal of social anxiety. One thing that I would have loved to see more of, which isn't a negative really because I know why she wasn't there, but there was a character in this called Meg who I really really liked and we only got to see her for like a couple of pages, but her personality was so bubbly and great and I understand why she wasn't in the story more. So so like it's not a complaint at all because it probably would have brought the story down having this random character in there for half of it when she wasn't needed but you know maybe like a spin-off or something could happen I wouldn't argue with that. <laughs> Overall this book has just confirmed to me what I already thought I knew when I read Beautiful Broken Things. Sarah Bernard's writing style is like A+. plus amazing. I would recommend this to everyone but especially if you liked Beautiful Broken Things. I also think there's some Am I Normal Yet vibes in there at times as well so if you like Holly Bourne's writing I definitely think you'll like this. This book is definitely already a contender for my favourite books of 2017 video. She's definitely one of my favourite authors now and I feel like she's just going to be one of those writers where I just want to read all of her books as soon as they come out. So that was my review which probably came across more as a good 
of A Quiet Kind of Thunder. I really, really love this book, as I've said so many times. It's out in the UK on the 12th of January, so if you're watching this on the day I publish this, if I stick to my schedule, it should be out in stores in a couple of days. And if the like concept of it isn't enough to persuade you, I'm going to put a picture of the cover of it up here because it's so beautiful and I'm definitely going to be going out and buying myself a copy of it even though I've already read it because I need that beautifulness on my shelves. <laughs> Other than that, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you've read A Quiet Kind of Thunder or if you're planning on reading it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you again next time. Bye!